Today we are in the capital city of Slovakia, Bratislava. And when we arrived here, we were thinking to ourselves like, hmm, what type of video could we make for the city? And we're like, yes, this video is for anyone who won't have the chance to make it to Bratislava. So we thought that we'd go out and show you the musty places in the city. Let's go. We are Sarah and Marek. In October 2020, we left our home country of South Africa and set out to see the world using budget travel strategies to make our travels last as long as possible. From working on a traditional winery in Georgia, to a sailboat in Turkey, to attempting to hitchhike over 1,800 kilometers in four days, our budget travels have by no means been boring or uneventful. We can't wait to see what's next. First stop for the day is the Slavin Memorial, and this is actually the largest memorial in Central Europe. This is the burial ground for 6,845 soldiers from the Soviet Army who unfortunately lost their lives during the liberation of Bratislava in World War II. We know this is quite a sobering start to this video, and I'll be honest, when we first arrived, I was looking around and not really taking it all in. And after a while of seeing name after name after name, it slowly sunk in that this place symbolizes so many people's lives and it's an important part of Slovakia's history. And we find that personally our travels are so much more fulfilling when we're curious about a country's history and we really take it all in. a heavy but rather necessary start to the video. I really feel that we got a bit of an understanding of the city and we can just appreciate everything we're going to see today just a little bit more. Side note, if you're planning to come and visit the memorial, it's literally at the highest point in the city and there are a lot of stairs to climb up to get here. This is the consulate office of South Africa. Crazy! I saw the little coat of arms on the wall and I was like, no, that has to be because that coat of arms is actually what's on our coins back home. I mean, crazy. <laughs> we're just We've never seen past. one of these before. <laughs> In case you're confused as to why we're making such a big deal about seeing the South African consulate, Marik and I are from South Africa, so that's why that was quite special for us. having a real hard long think about this one because this place behind us right here is our second stop of the day and this is called Grasalkovich Palace. Now it's from our research it says this is the seat of the president of the Slovak Republic. Now we're not too sure what that means but we do know that it's got something to do with the president and what we're not too sure about is if we can fly the drone here or not. We don't want to get into trouble. <laughs> Okay, we've taken their decision, we're not going to put up the drone, we don't feel like risking it today. But either way, this palace was built in the 18th century and back in the day it used to be known for its rich social life. But since 1996 it has acted as the seat of the president. And now doing a little bit more research, it seems like it's basically like the president's mansion. Kind of like Slovakia's Buckingham Palace. But apparently there's really beautiful gardens so we're going to go have a look at those now. Unfortunately, today it is closed, but usually you can wander around the presidential gardens and it's got much better views of the palace itself. So our first stop for the day is something called Michael's Gate. Now this used to be the old entrance to the city, but unfortunately the whole thing is wrapped around and the busy doing reconstruction work. But if we take a quick walk just this way. So this is the outer section of Michael's Gate, and both this tower and this bridge spanning the moat that we're busy standing on dates back to the 13th century. Now back in the day, this used to be a moat that protected the city, but they have lost the need for that. So they've since built houses in the moat and people now stay in an olden day moat. <laughs> It 
It's a real shame that the gate is under renovation. It kind of reminds us of our time back in England when we went to go and see Big Ben. And there as well, the old man was also under renovation. I guess we can just do our best to imagine what it would look like and also look at pictures. Coming from Prague, this city actually feels really quiet and relaxed which is quite nice. Now all over you have these like little crown medallions that's been dug into the street and it's definitely leading you in a certain path. And we have a pretty good idea of where it's leading us. And we're going to be going there in one of our next spots. Next up, St. Martin's Cathedral. The first thing that hits you about this very impressive building is the sheer size of it. It is huge and the top of the tower stands 85 meters high. We can even fact check that because we just sent the drone up. Also, in the tower is a huge bell that weighs 150 kgs. Crazy! Next we'll be following those little crowns Marek mentioned earlier. I wonder what it could be. the little crowns brought us all the way to the Bratislava castle. Now of course it's a castle so historically kings and rulers would live and rule the kingdom from the kingdom, the country from this building. But today this castle is a symbol of Bratislava and inside the castle they have the Slovak National Museum or the Museum of History. So if you want to go inside and take a look around it's 10 euro entrance fee. castle is honestly so impressive. It's really really beautiful. There's a specific style to it and they've got such a nice contrast between the orange tiles on the roof and the white 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 building. All the um, statues, I don't know why, but every single statue on it's like specifically made tips around it and it's got gold points on all the little tips around the statue and it's got these beautiful very stylish towers, pointy towers. It's just beautiful. So next on the list is the old town hall. Honestly, there's nothing much more to it, but it's still a pretty cool looking building. Just in case you're wondering where we got these ideas from. So when we arrived in Bratislava just yesterday, we started doing a bit of research and saw the looking after like the must-see and must-see things to do. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? He smiled, he was in the shutter, so I smiled behind his shoulder. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> What's up? You're so cute. So when we were looking at the must-see things to see and do here in Bratislava, we found a little list and we'll just put the link for that in the description below. So I guess there was a little more. The old town hall is actually in the main square. But we're off to our next spot. One of the most annoying things about sightseeing and exploring cities anywhere is that it's so difficult to find a toilet. I don't know why, but literally we've been walking around the whole day and this is the first toilet we've come across. Okay, I can't really speak about this anymore, I gotta go. Best 30 cents I ever spent. On to the next. Our next stop is Primates Palace. Now we're pretty sure that we're saying that incorrectly, but it reads Primates, so really not sure. This place was really important as this is where Napoleon signed the Peace of Pressburg after his victory in Austerlitz. Also, it acts as the seat of the mayor of Bratislava. And just on top of that all, again, it is a very impressive building. <laughs> And 
Tiger! And our last official stop for the day is the Blue Church, and it really is blue. There's nothing really significant historically about it, but it's made in a very particular style. I'll put the name of it here because I'm not going to attempt to pronounce that. And it's also really beautiful to look at. Now, there are three more places worth mentioning. The first is a place called Eurova Waterfront, and it's where we are right now. It's basically a really nice place to walk alongside the river. There are loads of cafes and restaurants, and it's just really picturesque. The second is Devon's Castle. Now, I'm pretty disappointed that we couldn't go and visit that today, but it's a little way outside of the city, and we just wouldn't have had enough time to go and see that and everything else today. But it looks amazing from the pictures that we've seen. Lastly is something called the UFO which is basically a viewpoint in the middle of the river that has panoramic views of the city. Now there's two reasons we won't be going up there and the first is because we've already seen some really beautiful views today first at the memorial and then at the castle and of course our drone gives us the best views possible and the second reason is because there's an entrance fee of 10 euros each now we would much rather use that money towards trying some traditional Slovakian cuisine so we'll be ending off this video in the best way possible with some food now we just need to find the restaurant garlic soup and it's got a loaf of bread as the bowl. I'm gonna eat all of this. Oh goodness me. There's pieces of the bread in it. <laughs> oh, that was cheese. This is beautiful. This is so nice. I got potato dumplings with meat, cabbage, onions and sour cream. It smells incredible and it looks like it's gonna taste very different. I'm quite interested to try it. Mm. Mm. The sun has set and wow was that food good. We are so happy with our decision to come and get some food because that came to exactly 20 euros so we can highly recommend stopping in at the Slovak pub if you're ever passing through Bratislava. Bratislava is a really nice city it's although it's big it's quite relaxed and the people are so friendly so we really enjoyed <laughs> so we really hope you enjoyed coming along with us and exploring more of the city today thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one So she's so quiet here, yeah? they're gonna hear everything that we say. <laughs> I'll get an extra whiskey lesson. <laughs> so our third first uh, what? Now this used to be a moat back in the day, but they have set up so, so close. So I guess there was a little more. The old town square. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Also, this is where the seat of the mayor of Bratislava is. What? This is a creamy garlic soup and it's got a loaf of bread as the bowl. I'm going to eat no, no. <laughs> Very stuffy. Um, go. <laughs> go. <laughs> <laughs>